how Wikipedia describe the uh, tooth complement and sign number representations, and finally uh, the Python uh, online document, uh, which you can see the most detailed description of the uh, object. Uh, building up just supported in Python. Okay, so uh, the information here is a little bit advanced, but don't worry, I'll be mm, accompanying you. Yeah, I will be supporting you. Yeah, here, uh, let me make the the font a bit larger. Okay, so here we see we can see the. Um, uh, we can say the sign number, right? Sign number representation. Okay. So sign, a sign here, okay, uh, means uh, uh, they support a positive number and a negative number. Okay. Let's, uh, let's read it uh, a little bit. In computing, signed, signed, okay, with a D, E D, signed number representation. Uh, uh, required to encode negative number in the binary number system. Okay, so so which means uh, uh, in our binary zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one. Okay, they are simply the uh, a sequence of uh, uh, the one zero one zero patterns. Okay, it all depends on how you look at it. It could be used to represent the ASCII. ASCII code, it could be used to indicate all the positive number uh, we call actually unsigned, unsigned number. Okay, let me roll it down here. Unsigned. Uh, which means uh, they, they, they are treated all the uh, positive number. Or in a real case, we need to deal with a negative, okay, negative number. So in this case, we assign the number. Okay. Uh, because we the major uh, thing that computers do is do the do the do what do compute right computation right computing. So a lot of things we need to deal with about the math mathematics. So we all know the sign. We use the minus sign, right? So how can how can we use the uh, binary patterns to represent the, this idea? Is a big, it's a big issue, right? It's a big uh, approach, right? Okay, from wiki we can see uh, here list uh, several uh, several. Uh, information I want you to pay attention sign magnitude uh, I have explained a little bit and one's complement and two's complement okay and the other systems but uh, anyhow uh, most computer nowadays use a two's complement okay uh, I want you to at least remember after together after today's uh, lecture so let's uh, let's move on. Mm -hmm. So let's look at it. So what is the sign magnitude approach as I described? Okay, uh, I want you to look at this table. Okay, on your right hand side here. Okay, this table. Mm, this table have a three column a binary value which lists the uh, eight bit okay sign magnitude okay the second column is uh, they call a uh, if you are using sign magnitude uh, approach interpretation to look at it this pattern will be zero and this pattern will be one hundred and twenty seven. However, this pattern will become minus zero. Wow, quite interesting. We use unsigned 
Okay, remember I talk about the sine on sine, and uh, all positive is on sine. Uh, uh, this is how they evaluate it. Okay. So let's first uh, look at uh, this approach. This approach simply using the highest bit, uh, and uh, use it to indicate is this a positive or, num uh, or negative. So the highest, uh, highest bit, this one we call the most significant uh, bit or the side bit. Okay, if this will. Uh, is set uh, zero, which means uh, positive. Okay. On the other hand, uh, one, which means the negative. Okay. So all the rest of part of the bit, uh, uh, all together they have a seven bit together, right? Which is uh, uh, the power. Use the power of two. Uh, two to the seventh power, uh, we got the uh, one hundred and the twenty-eight combination. So we started with the zero. Uh, the maximum value will be one hundred and twenty-seven, right? So you can see uh, from zero to one hundred twenty-seven. Okay, the problem with this representation uh, is. Uh, quite symmetry. It is a, actually not a problem. It's quite easy to understand for the human uh, cogn cognition uh, understanding, right? So sine bit, its value, right? One one hundred and twenty-seven uh, sine bit. Uh, so it's a minus one. Okay, but uh, this approach will produce uh, two two kind of. Uh, Zero or uh, two kind of wow. Okay, so uh, so sine magnitude in uh, method interpretation uh, pretty easy to understand. Uh, the high speed is a sine bit. The rest part of the bit uh, stand for the magnitude, how large it is. Okay, so quite straightforward to understand. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the next. Uh, the next uh, one's complement. Okay, one's complement. So if you click on the wiki, one's complement, uh, you got uh, uh, simple descrip descriptions. In one's complement representation, neg number represent by the bit pattern corresponding to the bitwise not. Okay, this is a uh, bit operator uh, not operant, uh, also known as the complement. Okay, so what does this mean? Uh, simply to uh, change. Uh, for example, uh, let 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 me take this as an example. Uh, this is a uh, value uh, one. Uh, uh, positive one, okay, and if we turn everything, oh, excuse me, if we turn everything, how can I turn on my? Okay, I like to turn on my uh, drawing pen. Where's my drawing pen? Okay, drawing pen. Okay. No, no drawing. Hmm. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, unsigned interpretation. This one. Okay. It's a uh, one's complement. Uh, still one. Okay. So if we use a uh, one's complement for represent the negative one or negative one how do we do it okay uh, it says uh, we need to use a not operator bitwise not operator to turn everything uh, 
If it's a one, they will use the not, they will become the zero. One, uh, zero become one. So here we go, we got this, right? Okay, so one, 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 zero, uh, which is exactly this, this entry, okay? So this entry uh, in one's complement representation will be the negative one, okay? Quite, quite interesting, okay? And from here we know the assigned bit is already on, so it's a negative number. Uh, but the tricky part is here, okay? We cannot simply evaluate this value as it's a magnitude. No, we need to uh, apply the not or negate it, okay? Uh, so that we got the original one, okay? So this approach is uh, known as uh, one's complement, okay? Um, the issue of this uh, is a pretty straight, uh, the, 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 the similar, they still have the uh, two kinds of zero, okay, uh, positive zero and the negative zero, okay. So if we cut the, uh, this A bit uh, capacity to represent uh, uh, a part of uh, positive number and half negative number, okay. This is a uh, one's complement approach. Okay, so let's move on uh, to talk uh, two's complement approach. Okay, two's complement approach. Let me score my uh, web page properly. Here we go. We got this two's complement by definition. Okay. Uh, you can apply the one's complement, okay, uh, using the one's complement and adding, after that you adding plus one, okay. So that is to one's complement plus one, okay, here is the key, key information. Okay, uh, that's a two's complement. Okay, so uh, so in this case, originally the one's complement, uh, this pattern will be minus one hundred and twenty-seven. You plus one uh, as a negative number. Okay, they will come become the one hundred and twenty-eight. Okay, by this approach, we avoid uh, two double. Two double zero, uh, two uh, one is positive zero and the negative zero because uh, negative zero by adding uh, minus one uh, will be uh, negative one. Okay, so those are the uh, the method, the definition of the two's complement approach. So uh, let me show. Hmm. May I change another color? Yeah, here we go. Um, so let's uh, look at the this table again. Uh, this number uh, zero one 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 uh, seven bit all straight one. The maximum will be one hundred in the twenty seven. Okay, if we uh, use the unsigned interpretation by adding one. Yeah, because we are using unsigned. So you add one here, you add one here, adding one here. One plus one becomes zero, right? And you got a carry bit. Okay, carry bit. Or carry. So carry bit uh, is one, one add one with zero. So kind of cascading carry. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you got this. So pretty interesting effect uh, in two's complement uh, binary representation. Okay, the maximum capacity of uh, a bit uh, will be one hundred and twenty-seven. Okay, uh, 
in unsigned point of view, by adding one will become 128. But in this case, uh, they will get a very interesting uh, effect. Okay, they will turn to the the uh, largest. Okay, the most negative. <laughs> what I'm talking about, the largest of a negative number, the maximum of a negative number. Okay, so this is the the things I want to highlight it. Okay, highlight it, and uh, by adding another one, you got a uh, uh, minus one hundred twenty-seven. Okay, so later on we are going to use Python to do this kind of experiment. Okay, this kind of experiment. Um, mm, let me uh, kind of uh, turn it off. Okay, and switch to the Python page. Uh, switch to the Python page. Uh, in Python documentation, uh, you can simply type a Python binary or Python bytes. Okay, this is what I'm going to talk about. Uh, bytes. Uh, uh, again, this is a quite advanced understanding uh, to uh, computer uh, computer fundamental stuff. Okay, uh, because this is what I'm here to provide you using Python to uh, kind of discover or exploring, uh, exploring the fundamental the computer science, uh, computer systems. So byte uh, is pretty, pretty uh, kind of low level to looking at the either um, file data or memory, memory data, etc. Okay, so let me uh, explain this, okay? The core building type of binary data in Python, okay? Specifically for Python, uh, there are two ways. One is called bytes, another is the byte array, okay? Uh, another one you can use the memory view, but uh, that's another story. We just uh, temporarily skipped it, okay? Uh, so bytes. Uh, in Python, it's actually an object. So we haven't talked about the object yet, but you consider it's a, it's a data. Uh, it, but it's an immutable sequence. Immutable means it cannot change. Okay, Once you have that object, you cannot change. You cannot modify the, 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 the data inside. Okay. So... Uh, uh, this is a class, okay, they define a, uh, the byte, uh, there's some syntax so you can use uh, uh, different ways, okay. Uh, I want you to uh, to look at uh, the, this small b, uh, we call it literal, they use a b, uh, single quote, uh, or b double quote, or they can also have a fancy triple quote, but uh, normally we just need to understand the single quote, double quote, uh, just like we're using the string. Okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, those are the bytes. Okay, information. Okay, here you can see some uh, examples. Uh, in Python documentation, they they are quite as using the same approach that I'm doing using the uh, interactive mode, okay? Interactive mode, uh, remember this is an interactive mode, a three error prompt. Uh, uh, you can kind of type the command here and it will show you the, the information. Okay, so uh, so let's try these two uh, these two uh, method bytes. They use this by object. Okay.
Okay, they can say that oh, I can type the string, uh, input the string. Uh, I call the from hex. They can show me uh, the corresponding uh, the memory uh, data. Okay. Uh, uh, using the byte object. Okay. So, what does this mean? Two uh, e. Uh, this hexadecimal. Okay. It just happened to be an uh, ASCII code period. Okay. So this will be interpreted as an ASCII code in here and F0 okay F0 uh, because it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, non-printable ASCII uh, they cannot show so in byte object they use a, a backslash uh, kind of escape things backslash x to indicate hexadecimal representation. So the following value, F0, is F0. OK. OK, so uh, this is one way. Uh, normally, we can simply uh, use uh, B, uh, single quote, double quote. Uh, we assign our value uh, directly using hexadecimal. So we are going to use that to kind of uh, explore our uh, tooth complement. Okay, tooth complement, this idea. Where we, where we are, tooth complement. Tooth complement. Tooth complement. Okay. Okay, choose complement. Oh, that's a sign representation. Okay, 